Hello, we are here with Melissa Cosentino. Thank you so much for joining me today. So as you know, we are here talking about, you know, again, different ways of uh, getting healthy and uh, detoxification. Body detox is one of those things that people always wonder about um, how to reduce exposure um, to um, uh, toxic exposure and also detoxifying food. And she is a certified uh, nutritional expert. I'm going to let you introduce yourself. <laughs> sure. We'll from there. Awesome. Thanks for having me, Heidi, and uh, Heidi, and everyone at Prompt Health. Um, yeah. So my name is Melissa Cosentino, and basically, I I'm a registered holistic nutritionist, also known as a certified nutritional practitioner. Um, and I'm the founder of MeliFit Nutrition. Um, and I founded the company in 2019 um, when I started my career in holistic nutrition from Institute of Holistic Nutrition. And um, basically my mission and what I do is I help individuals, busy individuals and particularly professionals carve out their unique individual path to a fit body, mind and soul. And I do this through um, an individualized holistic plan. Um, what I really particularly help clients with is digestive health, detoxification, and stress management. As you know, we're going to be toxing, talking all about detox today um, and toxic exposure. So I also offer a lot of master classes and webinars and online programs. And um, that's I do it all virtually right now. As you know, we're in COVID. So every my whole practice is virtual at the moment. <laughs> that's a little bit about me. <laughs> A lot of people are, are doing that. So wonderful. Um, yeah. So maybe we start by uh, you telling us what are toxins and what are the main ones that we're exposed to? So, I mean, toxic toxins and toxins is a word that's thrown around, obviously, a lot lately. It's a very trendy word. Um, but really what it is, is there are substances, um, whether it's internal or external, um, that can cause disease in the body when there's an overload on our systems and overburden our systems. And they basically, they need to be filtered through our body, bodily functions, specifically a huge one is through our liver. Um, and they do need to be removed um, to prevent from overload on our bodies or preventing disease and damaging tissues and organs. Um, and they can be derived from both our, envir our environment um, and within our own metabolism. So toxins do happen within our own body. And as we you know, eat foods and we have body metabol like our bodies metabolizing, we are also producing toxins. So it's not only through the foods that we eat and the environment, it's also produced in our bodies. Um, so I guess, in terms of though toxins that are created or man-made, um, it's crazy actually in the last 50 years, 80,000 or something about 80,000 to 100,000 new chemicals have actually been created globally. Um, so it's actually crazy how much it's exploded. And um, basically they're everywhere in our environment today and we're exposed to them on a day-to-day -day basis. So in externally, um, what that can be from is diet. Um, so foods that we're eating that are, have toxins within our foods, um, stress. Um, so that can be internally. Um, and then also um, alcohol and foods and drugs, as well as um, externally can be pollution and the environment. So heavy metals such as mercury or arsenic um, and air pollution. So that can be anything from, you know, cigarette smoke to, you know, um, like big factory pollution, right? Mm -hmm. um, so these are kind of the ways that we're exposed to toxins today. And what kind of symptoms would someone feel? Like, how would you know, oh, I think I have toxic overload or I'm not feeling well. Like, are there certain symptoms associated with that? Yeah, I mean, they come up, it shows up in so many different ways, and everybody is so unique. And we all have different thresholds and, and lifestyles that can impact our, our symptoms that we feel. 
So typically, um, some common ones are uh, stagnation in the body. So stagnation in the body is when we're not optimally um, excreting these toxins and there's a stagnation. So that could be anywhere from gastrointestinal issues. So digestive, and I work with a lot of clients with that. So constipation is a big one. Um, also anything from uh, fatigue, mood disorders, anxiety, allergies is a really big one as well. So allergies can be anywhere from um, skin sensitivities, food allergies, um, or even respiratory as well. So um, sinus congestion. Another one is inflammation. So chronic inflammation in the body it could be joint pains or arthritis, um, contributing to arthritis. So there is quite a, a lot of different ways that our bodies can be showing us or indicating that we do have a uh, toxic overload and we do need to find ways to reduce it or to cleanse our system. Wonderful. And what are the, what are the things that we need to look for um, when, when we look at the food labels or are there ingredients that we should stay away from? Yeah, that's, that's the tricky part. I mean, nowadays, like manufacturers and these, uh, these products that they market to us um, can be very tricky and a little bit manipulative in their marketing tactics. And unfortunately, if we're not educated, or we don't know enough to understand these labels, we can get tricked and confused, right? So a lot of times, and as a nutritionist, you know, we really focus on ingredients and what's actually in the product itself. But when we're looking at like foods from the exterior and on the shelves, like there's a lot of health is something called health washing happening these days where the front of the label will say, um, you know, like these health washing terms. So like natural or non-GMO or um, added fiber, or, you know, they're, they're using these words that make it seem like, oh, that's a healthy option for me. And what people are doing as they're picking it up and they're buying it, not looking at the back where you'll see that maybe it's, it's really high in sugar. Maybe it's using refined oils. Um, a lot of maybe just poor quality products or ingredients. So when someone looks at these products on the shelf, they think it's healthy. Um, so let's say it says low fat or low sugar, and they're less likely to actually look at the ingredient listing. So that's something to keep in mind. So when you're looking at the, the product on the shelf, turn it around and look at the ingredients. So once you're looking at the ingredients, what we're looking at is, you know, some are there sugar, high fructose corn syrups in there. So these are really tough um, for our digestion, but also for blood sugar management, leading to link to diabetes. So we want to make sure we're avoiding high fructose corn syrups, cane syrups, and cane sugars. Um, and then also like maltodextrin is another way that they're actually saying, so that is sugar and they're putting that on labels as well. So anytime you see labels that look, the words you don't understand or the ingredients that you're not understanding, that's usually an indicator that it's probably chemical and it's highly processed in nature. So the tip is really to stick to, um, ingredients that you understand and also um, the fewer ingredients, the better. Um, another thing though, I wanted to mention is there's a lot of preservatives, right? So preservatives um, is common found in like processed meats, um, ice cream, crackers, chips, like baked goods. Um, they come in the name of sodium nitrates. So nitrates, um, sulfites, um, sulfur dioxide. And really um, what this, this actually, these are chemical processed foods. And another tip is really just to reduce your amount of packaged foods in general and do more home cooked meals. Mm. Wonderful. And, and speaking of all of that, um, mm -hmm. there is a lot of foods that you see with the detox label on it. So you see the yeah. teas and the detox water and detox this, detox that. Yeah. Uh, I'm wondering what you think of that and what are there actually detoxifying foods? And if there are, what are the top ones? 
Yeah. So, um, so there are, there are some brands and there's companies that they do market as detox teas and, and sometimes they're great blends. So they can be any blends from licorice root to dandelion. Um, there's also marshmallow root. So there's a lot of different types of detoxing teas that, that are great. Um, what, it, what you need to be mindful of is there these detox kits that are like five day detox kits. And, you know, oftentimes if, if you're just having five different supplements a day following this product and you're eating a lot of processed and refined foods, and you're also highly stressed and you're also exposed to a lot of chemicals through your cleaning products and your skincare products, there's really only so much that your body is detoxing just by taking these teas or these tinctures. So yeah, you do need to be careful of these marketing tactics and it's really a whole body approach and really a holistic approach when it comes to cleansing and detoxing in general. Spring is actually a really good time to, to yeah. detox and cleanse, to be honest. And there's something called the barrel effect. So the barrel effect is the barrel is kind of being our body and, um, you know, we continuously put in these toxins into our body. So it could be, you know, as mentioned, these certain foods, it can be environmental and eventually our barrel becomes full and it combusts, right? Mm -hmm. So ways that we can reduce that is yeah. Cleansing and detoxifying foods. So when it comes to certain herbs are very powerful. So herbs, I always recommend dandelion as a really uh, good liver tonic and detoxifier. So dandelion, you can buy uh, fresh, like actually and put it in a salad, or you can buy it as a tea. I personally love it in a tea format. Um, cilantro is actually another really potent herb that is one of the highest for binding to toxic metals. Uh, mm -hmm. such as arsenic and cadmium, as well as aluminum and lead. So cilantro, add it to a lot of your smoothies. You can add a bunch of cilantro to your smoothies. Um, and you can also add it, just add it throughout your dishes. Um, nettle is another one. So nettle tea, I love it in a, also in a tea format. And that's a great one that you can just have within your, um, you know, your cabinet full of teas and, and sip on that daily. And then when it comes to more um, foods, so there's something called, um, so the indol three, uh, indol three carbonyl, which is basically found in all of the brassica vegetables. So broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, cauliflower, these are really, they're called cruciferous vegetables. And these are really powerful. Uh, powerful antioxidants, but as well as detoxifying foods. And really they support our, um, the enzymes in our liver. So when we're, we need a lot of liver support to effectively remove these toxins through our body. Um, so you want to be adding a lot of these, even kale, a lot of these into your, um, either it's in your smoothies or having big power bowls for lunch. And these are great ways that you can add them in. Great explanation. I, I mm -hmm. think green smoothie is good for you. I actually, <laughs> but I wasn't uh, sure what the scientific reason behind it. What, which one did you have? What did you put uh, in it? Uh, it, was, it was kale, spinach, celery, apple, a ginger. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yes. Ginger is another great one that I didn't mention. And mm -hmm. um, that's a good one to be adding. I always say add a chunk of ginger because you want to get enough to get the benefits because we need to eat a lot of these foods to actually proper properly um, amplify our detox system right so mm -hmm. add a chunk of ginger it's great right into your smoothie mm -hmm. fresh ginger um, and also helps with stimulating digestion so that colon needs to be removing all the toxic waste essentially so good like you've already shared so many great tips on nutrition any other tip you want to share with us on um, reducing our toxic exposure in general yeah um really when i do so when i do work with clients one-on-one -on -one, um you know really starts i always say take baby steps because it it can be very overwhelming to start this journey in removing toxins or reducing exposure 
Um, as you know, and as I mentioned, they are everywhere, right? So start with what resonates with you the most. Um, I find food resonates the most with people because they're eating it every day. Um, so number one is obviously introducing, you know, detoxifying foods and herbs just on a daily basis, like adding the herbs to your meals, adding them to your smoothies. Um, the, another, the next one would be home cooked meals. Very easy one not easy for everyone, but now that we're home, it's a little bit easier to, to incorporate the home cooked meals, right? So putting on a pot of soup at lunchtime or in the morning uh, for dinner time, or adding some, you know, cruciferous vegetables, doing a whole tray, putting it in the oven at lunchtime. So they're ready for dinner. So adding in those um, home cooked meals, which means less packaged and processed foods and eating out with like poor quality, poor quality oils or poor quality fried foods, things like that. So reducing that. Um, another one would be um, water. So water is a huge one actually that I didn't mention. And we are drinking water every single day. We need it for survival. And unfortunately our water system, um, tap water, there is common contaminants within our water. So an, a simple one is buying just a simple filtration system um, so that it's filtering out things like lead, chlorine, fluoride. There's even ones that filter um, antibiotics or arsenic and all these like really, you know, potent chemicals that can cause damage. So what I recommend is Brita is one of the most basic ones. I mean, if, if that's where you can start, that's where you can start. Uh, and I did start there one day, I've eventually upgraded um, because Brita doesn't filter out everything. So Centevia is one of the ones that I really, I love and I have it myself. Um, you can get on Amazon, pretty affordable and it goes through quite a long filtration system. And there's also the Berkey. So I don't know, are you familiar with any of these? Do you, what no, do you use? No, I've, I've um, I've heard of the whole, the charcoal thing. So I, started, yes. <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's the extent I've gone. <laughs> okay. Nice. Nice. Well, you know what, there's also reverse osmosis. There's ones that you can get on your tap. Um, so I think pick one that works well for you, whether it's the one that sits on your counter or the one in your, in your sink, um, like your faucet, you connect. Um, so pick one that works for you and, and just start there. Just start somewhere, really. Don't get overwhelmed and bogged down. Just start somewhere. So much. No, you <laughs> so much with us. Um, uh, how about we wrap this up with you telling us about uh, some of your master classes and webinars coming up uh, that you're going in more in-depth conversation about all of these. Uh, yeah. Let us know where can people find you. So, um, so I have a website. I also have a blog on, on my website with recipes and tips. So it's mellyfit, M-E-L-L-Y fit, F-I-T.com. Um, you know, also on Instagram, tons of information that I'm posting and tips and, and recipes. Um, so my Instagram is at mellyfit nutrition. And, um, in terms of like what's coming up, I do have my toxic overload um, masterclass. It's a virtual masterclass. It's $25 and per, there's gonna be five meals donated to Second Harvest, uh, which is one of the largest um, food waste rescues in all of Canada. So you should come, if, you, if anyone can come out to that, it's all virtual um, and you're gonna learn a lot more about this topic. Um, and then also I have a seven day holistic cleanse in May. Um, I love running this. It's a virtual program um, with other people. You get to be held accountable. It can be fun and interactive. And um, that's on May 10th. And I, I do have limited seating in that. So if anyone is interested, just send me a message, um, an email, uh, Mellyf Melissa at mellyfit.com. And uh, I'll, get, I'll get all the information to you. Amazing. Maybe I you can join too. <laughs> I will. I'm actually going to look into it. I already learned yeah. so much in the short time we had from each other. I really enjoyed that conversation. Thank you for joining us. It was a pleasure. All right. Thanks so, so much, Heidi. And we'll be in touch. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Take care. Bye. Bye.